Armando Hasurungan, Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe, join the forum and group for the latest videos, please visit Facebook Armando Hasurungan. In this video, we're going to talk about nerve injuries and the different types. But before we start, we should recap what a nerve is, as well as uh, where it can be found, I guess. So here we have the brain and the spinal cord. The brain and the spinal cord make up the central nervous system, or CNS. If we zoom into this section of the spinal cord, let's look at some familiar structures. We have the dorsal side of the spinal cord, or the back, and then we have the ventral side of the spinal cord, or the front. We have a dorsal root and ventral roots, which are basically clusters of neurons that connect essentially to form a spinal nerve. And so this is a nerve. A nerve is not one neuron, but it's many neurons, all packaged up into this structure. Now, whereas the brain and the spinal cord is part of the central nervous system, the spinal nerves is part of the peripheral nervous system, or PNS. In the spinal nerve, if we look at a sec cross-section of it, we can find blood vessels, you know, veins and arteries. Surrounding the nerve, in this case the spinal nerve, we have a sheath called the epineurium. Now, within the spinal nerve, we have clusters of bundles of neurons making up a fascicle. If we were to pull out one of these fascicles, it is surrounded by another sheath called the perineurium. And remember, all these sheaths are essentially like protective. And within each fascicle, we find neurons. Neurons here can be either unmyelinated or myelinated with Schwann cells. And surrounding these neurons, we have another sheath called the endoneurium. So again, starting from the very top, we have epineurium surrounding the spinal nerve, we have a perineurium surrounding the fascicle, and we have an endoneurium surrounding a, in this case, myelinated uh, neuron. So now let's briefly recap what a neuron is and its structure, because it's quite relevant to understanding the types of nerve injuries. So here we have a typical motor neuron. We have the dendrites, which receive signal, the soma, the body, we have axons, and this is a myelinated neuron because it has Schwann cells. And then we have the terminals with a terminal bulb where neurotransmitters are released and uh, initiate a sort of um, response. Okay, now let's talk about nerve injuries or neuron injuries. Let's start off by looking at the central nervous system, CNS. So now, most uh, CNS fibers, the neurons, they do not regenerate, and there's three reasons why. Firstly, cleanup is slow. Secondly, oligodendrocytes, which are a type of uh, glial cell, inhibit regeneration. And thirdly, the environment is not very optimal. However, neurons in the peripheral nervous system, or PNS, can regenerate. And this is because cleanup is a lot faster in the peripheral nervous system by macrophages, allowing for parts of the neuron that are able to regenerate to regenerate. Secondly, Schwann cells actually assist in the regeneration process. And thirdly, time is of the essence. So if we can clean up parts that cannot regenerate, um, et cetera, et cetera, regeneration can occur. And, but however, time is of the essence. Another fundamental thing to understand is that if the cell's body, the soma is damaged, this, this, the, the cell, the neuron, cannot regenerate. However, if the, if, if the axon is damaged or the terminal, well, neurons can then regenerate. It will just keep, it will just grow the axon back as well as the terminal. And the growth, uh, the speed of the growth is about one millimeters per day. Now on to looking at the classifications of nerve injuries. Well, you have three main types. Before looking at the three main types of nerve injuries, we should again just recap uh, a normal neuron here. So remember it has an axon and it has an endoneurium sheath type thing surrounding it. So this is normal. Now the first type of nerve injury or the least severe is called neuropraxia, where it is, where it is essentially demyelination. And this is essentially a reversible conduction block. 
So again, if I were to draw the neuron here and the endoneurium surrounding it, neuropraxia is essentially when you have compression here. And so the axon and endoneurium is still intact. However, the myelin sheath is sort of compressed. And an example of this is when we have when one experiences radial nerve compression, a wrist drop. So if if you wake up maybe in the middle of the night and you've compressed the, your nerve, you can you have this sort of sensation. The second type of neuron uh, nerve injury is called axonotomesis, which is essentially where you have demyelination plus axon loss. Now, if I were to draw a diagram, here we have the neuron, and here, as you can see, we have a segment lost. However, the endoneurium is still intact. And so this actually allows, uh, this, this, this means that the, that, the, that the neuron can regrow, can grow back. And so because it also has the body, the body is still there, the body can, um, you know, grow the axon back as well as the terminal. However, the terminal in this case will die off. So the distal end will undergo what's known as Wallerian degeneration. This second type of nerve injury is commonly seen in crash injuries and, um, and displaced, basically, bone when you have fracture. The third type of nerve injury, which is the most severe, is called neurotomesis which is essentially when you have demyelination plus axon loss, as well as one of the following. You can have either damage of the endoneurium, which I have just drawn here, and this means that you can have a fair growth, but not as well um, as if you would still have the endoneurium intact. Because you can think of the endoneurium as short, sort of like a pathway telling where the neuron should, should grow back. And then, or you can have involvement of the perineurium. And if you remember, the perineurium is the sheath surrounding a fascicle. And if this was damaged, you would have poor growth. And finally, if you have epineurium involvement, so remember the epineurium is the one surrounding the whole nerve, you will have no growth. And like always, the, the distal ends of the neuron that is basically slotched off will undergo de degeneration no matter what. Okay, so I hope you uh, m that made sense. So remember the three types of nerve injury. You have neuropraxia, axonotomesis, and neurotomesis. Thank you for watching. Like.